Hey, welcome to This Week in Rust, specifically Crate of the Week, uh, number 502. This week we have a paste bin, uh, self hosted paste bin service, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's called Rusty Paste, and it enables you to do something like this create a text file and upload it to your site, and then go and download it later. A, um, so how do we get going? There are a couple of ways. They there are binary inst this binary installation, but I'm not going to bother with binary installation. I'm going to build it from source. So uh, um, let's do that. And uh, how do we do that? So we just get we clone the Git repository, uh, go into the directory, and then we build. I'm going to immediately change that though to go to the run command. We've got like a couple hundred things to download and compile. So while that happens, I'm going to take us through what we can actually do. Um, oh, there's one other thing. I would like to introduce the well-documented blog and uh, talking about Rusty Pace, like what it all is and how, to, how it uses and, you know, how to deploy it with shuttle and actix and, and all of that good stuff. So that's actually really, really helpful if you are thinking about using, uh, if you're thinking about building web applications with like the Rust stack. Now, I also want to kind of give a uh, little bit of a shout out to Ohon, the, uh, the developer. So they have Patreon, they've got Buy Me A Coffee, they've got GitHub sponsors all organized. And if you're in the position to be able to afford it, I highly recommend uh, uh, supporting their work. And also you get to be a cool wizard. That seems kind of cool. And uh, so this is what it kind of looks like. You have a really minimalistic interface. We can use the curl command to uh, uh, go and upload a file. So let's go and upload the readme <laughs> of Rusty Paste into Rusty Paste. Uh, and then we get to the, um, then we get a URL back. I can go and visit it. And it turns out that this actually got down, uh, uh, it doesn't look like on my screen that it did anything. But it did. Uh, we can explain that shortly. I just need to open up the browser console, web tools, network, reload, close that. Um, you can see that I get a 200, uh, 200 okay. Maybe you can't see that if it's not big enough. Um, this is the response. We got a nine kilobyte thing. We got text markdown. The browser doesn't really know how to interpret markdown. And so it's not rendered as text, uh, even though it is text. So it got downloaded to my, uh, it got downloaded to my computer. Cool. Uh, interestingly, though, if I go and inspect the headers, which what I would have expected to see is a location tag, so that the location would be specified in the so we've got content length we've got date we've got server so yeah i i would recommend if you wanted to patch submit a patch to this that you figure out a way to tell the user agent where the url that you have just generated is it's currently in the body but that isn't uh, i don't know if that standard's compliant i would have possibly added a redirect I don't know. Depending on the, depending on what your intent is, um, maybe you don't want to redirect to a folder, a file that you're already just downloaded. Aha! But we have a running instance live, so that's cool. The oh oh, I just did Control C. <laughs> Apologies for that. And uh, let's upload the README to the local server. It's not sitting behind TLS. Uh, it's on port 8000 and I get the similar thing, but I get a different output. I get leading Python. So I'll just uh, curl uh, that way. So I do, it is stored there. Uh, so that's fun, it, you know. 
it's a it's a markdown document with some <laughs> so it's it's fine to read in uh in the shell but it's not especially nice and uh the customization oh sorry i will just talk about a couple of other so features about this thing that i've looked at very briefly while i've been playing around uh, it's a really good introduction to using Actix to write a production ready web server. Uh, if we go in, we've got, uh, sorry, into the repository, <clears throat> you've got um, a working Docker file that builds a your service in a scratch directory. So there's essentially close to zero risk that you will encounter some uh, a massive, uh, massive security flaw unless you discover a zero day to like container escape uh, inside Docker or Kubernetes. And uh, yeah, no, no, this all seems um, quite, quite useful. And some customization for being able to uh, support some more advanced stuff instead of uh, just. Um, just the standard output that we are seeing here. Okay, so that's Rusty Paste. Again, check out Orhan's blog where he explains the uh, development of the system in detail. And I expect that I will see many more projects uh, in the future. Bye-bye. See you next week, oh, by the way, off for this week in Rust.